Rock Hip Hop, we got an exclusive guest right here. Let the whole world know who you are. <laughs> Roger. We start the interview. <laughs> Roger Jones, formerly of Record Town. That's what I wanted no to, you no know, doubt. not mess up when you say formerly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't be jello. That's what's up, you know. So, with that being said, yeah. the place where you used to work at, mm -hmm. it was like a you know, library of good music. Yes, sir. You know, what was it like you being the facilitator to the town, but being the first to say, this is okay, this is okay. You know, where, where has it, I heard that when people used to come and ask you for, um, you know, your opinion, <laughs> right. they, would, they would bring an album to you yeah. and you would look at it and, and the facial expression would tell it all. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct, you are correct. That was earned, man. It wasn't right. something that uh, I just outright did. People respected my opinion. Mm -hmm. And uh, just based on what you said, coming to me, bringing me something, facial expression, mm -hmm. uh, hey, my, my reputation started perceiving me like, yo, you put me on to some good stuff. You kept right. me from buying some duds. That's right. And um, I, just, I just wanted to keep this culture moving forward. And I noticed at one point it was being saturated mm -hmm. with a lot of garbage. Right. So uh, working on the inside at the store, I was able to get uh, in contact with record labels and make sure we always got the heaters in there. And this was the early, give us an idea of what kind of early stages was it in terms of, um, you know, music uh, that you was distributing back then from your uh, place of music, of, of historian place. I was still <laughs> It's a historian yeah. place. Yeah, man, it has a lot of treats there with music albums right. and stuff. Producers used to come there and... Oh, no doubt. No uh, doubt. You know, a lot of locals, what have you. Were, were there any kind of influence that you felt that you gravitated from people that used to come there and buy records as well? Um, I was able to connect with a lot of uh, the artists uh, that were casually on their way to being artists. Mm. And uh, just giving them a, a network, a place to network in that record store. Uh, if they, what I, uh, there's a story I think I only told once. There was a fight that broke out in a record store that I got in the middle of, and I explained to those brothers who were both rappers. Mm. The way the artists used to settle their beef back in the days was on the microphone. Exactly. That was the purpose, that was the genesis of hip hop. Right. This was an alternative to the violence. Right. We got an artist that keeps scampering through here. The young lord. <laughs> That's yeah. the, he wasn't one of the cats that was fighting back in the day. Nah. He, was of, he was one of the cats that was writing back shout, in the shout day. Shout out to Stig Stigolo in the back. <laughs> so, so no, um, that it broke my heart to see these two young dudes uh, fight. Everybody like, they like, they like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You know, I know. See, you I knew it. You in the lab with exactly. it. Exactly. Um, we'll still get this though. One of the dudes is a, a stand-up comedian now, um, Zakar Johnson, mm. a.k.a. Raz the Ripper he was back in the days, and he was definitely that off of the head. He did more freestyling than writing. Really? And uh, he got into a fight, and I got in between, got in between him and this other cat, and uh, the crew that would later be known as Ether Lab was Gas Company back in the days. Mm. I put him down with them. So this got him off the street and gave him an avenue to spit his rhymes and this kept him out of trouble and helped him sharpen his sword. I actually put the late Maximilian Cook down with Gas Company as well. And a female MC who I was hoping would have popped up when we had a reunion show here, Brooklyn. Mm. Brooklyn female, she was like the nicest young female MC for her generation that I had ever heard. Really? She Shout could spit bars. Yeah. And uh, put them all down there, man. It was just, what I wanted to do was I was trying to ease the gravity of violence that was going on as well. Uh, they were these kids were coming through the store, and they were either gang affiliated, they were doing their thing on the street, but it was trying to rhyme. Mm -hmm. Hip hop saved lives. Yes, sir. Yes, then. sir. That's what um. What was the Dean I said? We got to stop the violence and kick the science mm -hmm. on a road that we call eternity, where knowledge is born and we learn to be self sufficient and independent. To teach that each is what rap intended, That's but right. now society wants to invade. I took that. Right. I said, I see what you're trying to do, D-Nice, right. and I ran with that. And embraced it, yeah. That's, yeah. yes, sir. That's what's up, man. We definitely gonna get some more Q&A. Oh, I can't Q &A. wait. I've been waiting for this, Dre. Uh, yeah, I know we got this rap battle going on. What's <laughs> oh. your taste on the rap battle right now? I mean, the, the beat battle right now. So far? 
Yeah. I love it. I, I love it. It's uh, it. This is uh the essence of the culture. The the DJ is the architect right. of the culture. That's the foundation right there. The yeah. so-called MC was shouting his DJ out. That's real. And the early DJs, the real ones, mm -hmm. they was making beats. They was beat juggling on the turntables. That's what's up. So this is like we taking it back. Yeah, Everything right moves back. in a circle. I'm loving it, Trey. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely gonna tune in. Rock hip hop. We got your boy Rogers Jones. Yes, sir. Salute to you, man. Oh, salute to you, Trey. You doing it with this camera, though, boy? Oh, man. You make, <laughs> you make it look good with that cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Shout out to Juan Pina. That's my barber, aka Picasso. That's, what's That's up. the man right there. That's what's up. Salute. That is the man. Shout out to Juan Pina. That's what's up. <laughs> All right now, back to the battle. Yes, man. sir.